Jim, let's get some questions here on the show. A rarity. I'm sure people have a lot of questions about this show already. Go ahead. Well, there have been several people sending in several questions, I'm sure you can imagine. This has been a popular topic, so I'll read this question for everyone. This was sent to CourtneyDriveThru at gmail.com from Tony in Cleveland, Ohio. I hope all is well with you both. Let me read that again in English. <laughs> I hope all is well with you both and Roll your families. Raw rolls on. <laughs> Raw rolls on. I saw a clip today of Seth talking to someone saying that CM Punk was a jerk and a cancer and telling him to stay away. Jim, I have some audio here. Let me play this for you. Okay. This is Nick Houseman, who I must say, whenever there's a CM Punk He gets story, around. It's always about CM Punk, though. Right? He was the reporter that CM Punk talked to yeah. during the press conference. <laughs> And now, here we go again, but here he is, does a good job, typically, with Seth Rollins. Well, I know you're a Midwest boy with ROH roots. We don't know what's going on with CM Punk, but you guys have had some barn burners <laughs> in WWE. Would you like to see Phil Brooks uh, back in WWE? Oh, Philly Phil, stay away. Stay away, you cancer. Get away from me forever. Wow. Yeah, no, I don't like Phil. I don't like Phil. He's a jerk. Oh, did we just figure that out? Did we just figure that out? No, everybody in the room like is like, oh, no, dude, did he say that? Yeah, no, he's a jerk. Come on. We figured it out over there. We knew it over here. I don't want him back. Go do something else. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Well, I know you're a Midwest boy with oh. ROH. How do I stop this? There I go. I stopped it. And part of the story that you're not seeing here, Jim, is the outfit. And the cowboy. No, I've hat. I've actually I've seen that clip. I okay. saw that clip on on the Twitter machine. And that's the thing. I guess now, from what has been reported, he potentially is telling the truth. He doesn't like punk, but it sounded so. With that voice, he does, and with whatever his gimmick is, as we've said, we don't understand what it is. Is he Nicholson, the Joker? Is it what the fuck's it going on? It's like the fucking sounds nanny. So he sounds like the nanny cutting a promo <laughs> <Yeah>. on CM <laughs> Punk. <laughs> Brand Drescher. Yeah, hey, cancer, hey. stay away. So it sounded like he was mocking the people that say he's a cancer and he should stay away and everything because of the funny voice. So it, I don't... If that was supposed to be a burial of somebody, it wasn't a good one because everybody was still asking, well, does he really mean that or is he just saying that because it's, it's so cartoony in such a way that... Uh, I, again, one would assume that he would know Seth Franklin Rollins. I mean, that if Punk was to show up in that company, that he, that probably he would be one of the first people he'd work with and it would fucking draw mega attention. So I don't know if I'd be pissing Punk off before it even has a chance to happen. But I, like I said, I've heard people say, no, he really was telling the truth. He doesn't like him, but that was such a, childish and comical cartoon way of saying it that it sounded more like a bad wrestling promo plus the way he was dressed well plus he's, he's standing there looking like he's plugged <laughs> in the fucking wall socket so like Waylon Jennings had another kid somewhere made, made me look like I was constantly attending funerals everywhere I went when I was managing he's a cancer not like my boss who fucks the employees <laughs> stay away stay away yeah, stay away let us keep fucking everyone ah! well there it is well who who do you think he sounds like i mean i said it really did remind me of the nanny before fran drescher there's a little bit of the wicked witch i guess it's seth Rollins. <laughs> <laughs> like what do you think how would you do an impersonation of him i don't i don't because it changes constantly and it depends on how you know much he's he's into it um, but, and, and whether or not uh, that he's also doing the dancing and gesticulating and fake laughing at the same time, but there was an element of, no, no, he's a cancer, stay away. Which sounds kind of like, a, like you said, Margaret Hamilton on helium. Back to maybe helium. a, everything maybe there, with you is helium. That, well, maybe there's the answer at the start of the program. <laughs> we should have realized that's how they gave Rollins this gimmick. They stuck a fucking helium hose up his ass. That's why he can't stop gyrating and floating, float dancing and or talking like a normal human.